this ski box is the equivalent of a mountains please sticker it's really just it's less functionality and more screaming for attention Okay, today I'm gonna to talk about the best way to transport your ski equipment. Now, we've got three main ways that you can transport your skis on cars. You've got your trailer hitch rack here, which clamps on the sides and can fit about six skis, um, depending on what size they're and what width. And that goes directly under your trailer hitch and locks on. And then we've got your traditional kind of rack mounts here and then you would put a clamp on top of this. So either the clamp or the ski box here, which we'll talk about in a second, they will both need this. Whereas the trailer hitch rack, as the name shows, you need a trailer hitch. The trailer hitch cost me about 150 bucks and I did it myself. If you had uh, someone else install, I think it's three to 400, something like that. Just depending on your car and your trailer hitch. So today I'm gonna to be reviewing both of these. I have used a ski box on a car for about a decade and then more recently I've been using this trailer hitch uh, for the last couple years on my car and uh, this one specifically I've had for two years as well and so I'm going to just give you a breakdown on the pros and cons, who I think should be using them and um, give you a review and rating of both of these systems so you can kind of judge for yourself what's going to be best and what's going to be best for you. So coming in at 1650, let's talk about the pros of the box. One is that it's a little bit more discreet when you're carrying items across. Um, it's also a little more versatile. Uh, the trailer hitch, you can just carry skis, whereas this, you can carry clothes if you're going on a long trip. Um, it's got a little more versatility to it. And also, you know, a little more privacy. People can't see exactly what you're carrying. The other pro is that this protects your ski gear a little bit more. Uh, you're going to be able to have your skis kind of protected from the conditions and uh, you're not going to see any dirt or salt on them. You can also throw poles in as well, uh, snowshoes, sleds, whatever it is that you might need. Now let's talk about the cons. You're not able to even get into your garage if your car is a certain height. So it uh, really limits what you're able to do and uh, how you're able to treat your car. It also just makes your car less aerodynamic. It's way up high, it's gonna drag you more if you hit a big wind, depending on what car you're driving. If you're driving a small car, it's substantial and it really uh, can impact the drivability of your vehicle. So what do I think this is for? I think this is a prime candidate if you're going on long road trips. Let's say you live out in the west and you're driving to Salt Lake a lot for a different race from Idaho, or you're driving up into Oregon, or if you're going on these long, long trips, and you really want to be able to have versatility of what you're able to pack, right? So you can put skis in the length of it and then maybe your backpacks along the way. Um, it gives you a little bit more versatility and it gives you a little bit more security when you're away from home. But that being said, if you're not using this a ton for long trips, I don't think it's very good in the day to day for the simple fact that people don't take these off. Uh, and honestly, I was setting it up for my review and it's hard, I couldn't do it uh, just by myself. So people tend to leave these things on and it really kind of impacts your vehicle year round. So I really don't like how hard it is to take off and put back on and how it kind of becomes a permanent fixture on your vehicle. Also, if you've had one of these, you know how fragile these locking mechanisms are. Like if you don't have everything down and even and you try to lock it, especially if it's really full, they break super easily. They're super tricky to make sure that they're locked down properly. They get really brittle in the winter. Um, yeah, I think I've had nightmares with these, making sure they're locked correctly, or, oh, don't use that side, that's the bad side, or, oh, the locking mechanism doesn't quite work because it's uh, cold out, the locking mechanism is frozen, so you can't even get the box open to get your skis. I think that these mechanisms have improved over the years, but I, even still, the way that they're designed overall is terrible, and these things, are really a nightmare functionality wise, especially considering how much it limits your vehicle and being able to go to a car wash, being able to fit in your own garage. So I really hate the way that these roof racks not only look but function, 
Right, so if you are installing them and something happens, it lands directly on the glass if you have a sunroof. But also they cut down on your gas mileage, they can be loud, and you can't go through a car wash with them. So if you're really diligent about taking these on and off, that's great. But a lot of times in the winter with the salt they put on the roads to go to the mountain, I really like to be able to wash my car. So I don't like the way these look. These little rubber pads where the metal clamps down here, they always wear the paint off. My wife had one on her Corolla and we had it for about two or three years and you can see where the paint has rubbed and faded on this spot specifically. I only install these just to prove a point. I never keep these on my own car. So let's go over the pros and cons of this setup here on the trailer hitch. The pros are it's super easy to load. I think that might be the biggest feature that I really like is that I can actually load it really easily. My kids can load it and I can be on my way. Um, it also has this really great mechanism where it allows me to still open the trunk of my car. On top of that, it's really secure. I feel like I can lock it well, the skis don't move around a lot, and it doesn't damage the top of my car. I don't have to climb onto it. And it really gives me all of the normal functionality of my car because it's so easy to take on and off. So when I'm not using it, I just take it off, put it in my garage, and then move on and I can still use my car the way it was kind of meant to be used. Versus something like this big roof rack where it's on there and however my car is, whatever the height is, I just need to deal with it until I take it back off. This smaller trailer hitch is really easy to take on and off. I can load it, it gives me plenty of skis that I can take. Um, and it also doesn't create as much wind resistance on the top. It's much more comfortable to drive and I feel like I get a better driving experience out of it. Also ease of use, my children are able to open and close, at least my older children are able to open and close this, install their skis. Whereas anyone who's had a ski box knows, what do you have to do? You have to open one of the doors, stand up, push on taller cars and get up into the roof rack here. This is down at a lower level, especially for older people or children. This is much easier to unload and load skis. All right, I'm gonna be brutally honest with you guys. I, after having used both of these and having a ski box for years, I think that the ski boxes kind of suck. I think that they are really overpriced. They don't create that much functionality for the driver or for the, the ski family. And honestly, I think that they're kind of just a status symbol. You know, it's the equivalent of the sticker that says mountains please. It's just, it's way overpriced for the actual functionality it gives you. And the design is not very good. Like it honestly, kills your gas mileage, makes your car into this giant vehicle that can't be parked where you want to, can't be washed when you need it. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to give this design like a four out of 10. It has some functionality in the summer, so maybe a four and a half. This bad boy on the other hand, it doesn't have a lot of sex appeal, you know? It kind of sits on the back, but you know what? It works great. The functionality of these trailer hitch racks is awesome. I don't know why anyone uses anything else unless you're going on these long trips. God, I give this a nine out of 10. These rule. They're super accessible for people who are older or younger or just don't wanna climb on top of a car to get their skis somewhere. The ease of use of being able to take it on and off your car so that you can wash and park your car where you want to is awesome. Uh, all around, it also doubles as a bike rack. So not only are you getting the functionality of the ski rack, it works great. It's definitely great for weekend trips and put your stuff in the trunk. Why are you bringing so much stuff anyway? I think, you know, it, the box is just making it so that SUVs are bigger and I, you can't see over them as if they weren't big enough. And this is really the most practical way to transport skis. Honestly, if you've got a family and you're trying to figure out how to get into skiing or you just don't want to bring your skis inside of your car, get this trailer hitch rack. I had really good luck. I bought mine on Craigslist and the other part on Facebook Marketplace because it's a two-piece part. $100 for each, $200 at the door, $150 put the trail hitch on myself, and I had this really great mechanism for getting my skis up and down the hill, and my kids. This works for kids' skis, it's super versatile. This is where it's at, I'm telling you. So now you're wondering, Elliot, which one would you pick? So, to be honest, uh, 
I wouldn't pick this unless you are driving more than six hours to go skiing. And even then it's like, do you have to though, right? Do you have enough room for your bags? If you've got a giant family and this may be your only option for doing really, really long drives to go skiing, but for 90% of people, this is the king. This is what really works and this is what I would recommend. So this is what I'm gonna be daily driving. I've had it uh, and been using it for two years and I don't see myself stopping. I love this way of bringing skis up to the hill and uh, yeah, I don't think it gets any better than this. This really rules. So anyway, that's my review. Let me know what you think, if I missed something or if there's some super functionality of the ski box. Like I said, I've used a ski box and I still own this one, uh, but I've had ski boxes for 12 years and I, I think they're so overrated. I think, yeah, they just are screaming, look at me, look at me. I like to do outdoorsy things. But leave a comment, like and subscribe if you like these kind of videos and feel free to leave a comment. Let me know what else you'd like me to review. Thanks.